مدارس الطالب الذكي القرآن حياتنا نحو جيل إسلامي أمثل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back my dear parents Welcome back my dear students How are you all? Hope you are all fine This is an educational video number 8 The smart student schools English department English world class Pupils book 5 Macmillan education This video belongs to grade 5 Monolingual students As you know, we are still in unit, great job, seven. Our lesson for today is also about writing. Before starting our lesson, let's read our aims. To use the writing skill, to identify how to describe a picture. As usual, before starting our lesson, let's play a game together. Do you remember that game? What do you use to play that game? Hmm? Which part of your body that you're using to play that game? Yes, your tongue. Tongue twisters. Are you ready for today's sentences? Let's go. Listen to the teacher. Listen to me. I'm going to read, to read the sentence for one time and you're going to read the same sentence for three times quickly and send your voice to your teacher. Listen to me. Are you ready? A proper copper coffee pot. A proper copper coffee pot. The next sentence. Around the, the, the rock, rocks, the red rascal ran. The next sentence, a big black bug bit a big black bear. A big black bug bit a big black bear. The next one, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Where is the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Again, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Where is the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now, you're trying to read each sentence three times quickly and send your voice to your teacher in a private message. Now, we're done with our game. Let's start our lesson. How to describe a picture? As you know, in the previous video, we showed how to describe a picture, but this time we are going to simplify the image. You can write three sentences about each picture. Now I want you all, these students, to look at the picture carefully. It is a simple picture. Also here we have, huh? Great, helping words. You're going to read the helping words and you're going to write only three sentences about the picture. This video in order to practice yourself writing three sentences only at first, then you can, in the next stage, 
to practice yourself to write more than three sentences. Let's read the helping words. Hmm, can you read? Yes, boy, huh? pencil, huh? has got writing. Hmm. Look at that. Do you remember when I told you to ask yourself who are the people in the picture? Who is that? Is he a man? Is he a girl? Is he a boy? Yes, he is a boy. So we can say this is a boy. And look at him. What has he got in his hand? Great, he has got a pencil. And what is he doing with the pencil? Great job, he is writing. So now, the three sentences that we can write about this picture are... Who can read? Great, this is a boy. He has got a pencil. He is writing. Great job! Let's go to the next picture. You can write three sentences about each picture. Yes, now I want you all to look at this picture carefully and read the helping words. Girl, spoon, has got eating. Aha, uh -huh, I can hear you, my dear students. Excellent. We can start this with the same beginning. This is a girl. And what has she got in her hand? Great job. She has got a spoon. And now we should say she. And we should use the pronoun she because she is a girl. And we cannot say he for the girl, as you know. And the last sentence, what is she doing? Yes, she is eating. So, our three sentences are... This is a girl. She has got a spoon. She is eating. Great job. Now we are done for our lesson for today and this is your homework. Describe the picture using three sentences only. Yes, I want you all to look at that boy and read the helping words. Has got boy football. Playing happy. The next picture. It's also for a boy. Boy. Swimming. Happy swimming pool. Now I want you all to look at the two pictures carefully and try to write three sentences only about each picture. Using what? using the helping words. Try to do it yourself. And write the three sentences and send your answer to your teacher for a correction. That was the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.